of this, Rick Bayless is going to take his shirt off and make ceviche. Uh huh. That's Because there's no way you and I can follow a dog and a hot woman. I don't think so. For the arts. For the arts. <laughs> this is tough. So listen, yes, I, we're yeah, Chicago uh, Academy for the Arts. Take a look at some of the awesome graduates from here: Cecily Strong, currently of Saturday Night Live; Lara Flynn Boyle, formerly from the practice, and Rick Bayless' daughter, who has a job. <laughs> who has a job, which is a really great thing. Yes. You came up with this idea for the gala, yes. or what some of your closest friends cook after the kids perform. That's what, and it's continued on, and we're going to have nine chefs there this year. It's going to be an amazing experience because you get a chance to actually taste some of the really great creations from a lot of Chicago's top restaurants. That's this Tuesday, and as you yes. make this awesome ceviche, congratulations yes. on the four stars for Topo Lobo. Thank you so so much. We after are so thrilled. Years. After 25 years, we got the best review we've ever gotten. Okay, so let's make a quick ceviche here. We call this a tropical <laughs> he, he beach. He caught my IQ. Ceviche. I'm like, yes, it's like, did let's you hear go, my producer saying okay. me that? Okay. Okay, so this is scallops that's marinated in grapefruit juice, and I'm just going to oh. tip off the juice that they're marinated in. And I'm going to make a simple sauce. Okay. Okay. Well, simple for me anyway. It's got so these awesome. three ingredients here. This is an ancho chili that's been toasted and soaked, some roasted garlic, and some raw sugar. Come on, Rick. Okay? Say it how you say it. I know. Ancho chili. Ancho chili. Ancho chili. There you go. You put that in the blender, blend it okay. up, and it's going to look just like this. Okay. Okay, that becomes the sauce for this. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to add three other ingredients. We have some mango, jicama, and red onion. Mm -hmm. Those are just going to get dumped in there. If you've never tried jicama, do it. It's starchy, oh, it's, it's awesome, and it grabs any good flavor, oh, right? Yes, it does. It's got a very light flavor, but it's slightly sweet. But I love the crunch and the freshness mm -hmm. of it. Put our little bit of red onion in there. And that's it. That's what we're going to serve this coming Tuesday at Taste for the Arts. Nice segue, man. Hey, what do you think? <laughs> and you kept your clothes on. I did. You know, that was probably to my detriment, though. Okay? Did we get anybody's attention yet? He's I'm tight like, under there. Okay. People, he's like, tight. He makes. He does yoga yes. all the time. I'm gonna, I don't know. What, what am I supposed to do here? CAA. I say, no. <laughs> this Tuesday, Harris Theater, come see these kids perform. Their art is incredible. And go to our website and their website to find out more about this really cool independent high school, especially if your kids are out standing in the arts. Rick Bayless, always a fla uh, flavor. Always a pleasure to have you. Here's the flavor to go along with it. I hope you we enjoy it. We should have it. a show. <laughs> All right. We're going to take a quick break. We'll okay. be right back. You're going to make me bite into this onion. You're up for you. Well, tell me. That's awesome. We'll be right back with more WGM okay. Morning News. And a minute after this. <laughs>